Hey guys, I'm Alphonse. Welcome to the 13th episode of Anybody Can Code C programming series. If you'd like to take a look at the previous episodes, please use the link in the description. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the different types of function arguments and written values in C programming. There are four types of function arguments and written values in C programming. The first type is the functions that have arguments and that do not return a value. Second is the functions that have both the arguments and the written value. Third is the functions that do not have both the arguments and the written value. Fourth is the functions that have no argument value but have a written value. So let's look at some programs to better understand the working of the, the different types of function arguments and written values. Here we are given a program to find the area and the circumference of a circle using functions. So first let's find the area of the circle using the first type of function which is with arguments and that do not return a value. So I have defined the float variable radius since the area of the circle is found using the radius. So now let's write a function to calculate the area of a circle. Since this function does not have any written value, the written type would be void. The area of the function, uh, the, sorry, the name of the function is uh, area circle. And in the parameter list, it would be receiving one uh, argument, which is the radius. Since this uh, function does not return any value, the I'm, I'm going to calculate the area of the circle within the function itself. Let's call the function from the main function. Let's go ahead and run the program. So I'm going to give the radius as 3.5. And you can see that the area of the circle uh, is being uh, calculated. So next, let's write a program to calculate the circumference of a circle. So for this, we are going to use the second type of function, which is the functions that have arguments and also returns value. So let's go ahead and write that function. Since this uh, function returns a value, the return type of that function would be float. And uh, the name of this function would be circumference circle. So this return keyword uh, uh, tells us that the this uh, it will be returning a value back to the calling statement. So I'm just going to include the formula here. So 
let's call the uh, uh, circumference function from the main function. I'm going to write the calling statement. And the value that is uh, going to be returned from the uh, function is going to be printed directly here. Let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm going to give the radius as four. 0.5 as you can see both the area and the circumference of the circle are being calculated here so let's take a look at another example to understand the other two types of function arguments and return values so in this program so we have been asked to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle so the first type of function that we have here is function that do not have both the arguments and no return value so since this uh, pro uh, since this function does not have any arguments and no return value we are going to declare a uh, global variables so global variables are variables that can be accessed throughout the program the, the they have a uh, global access i mean sorry they have a uh, global scope I'm calling them as length and width. Let's write a statement to receive those uh, values from the user. So once we are done with uh, receiving the values from the user, let's go and uh, write the function. So since this function does not have any return value, the return type would be void. And I'm calling it the function as area of a rectangle. Since this function does not take any arguments, I'm going to uh, include the keyword void within the uh, uh, parameter list. So since this function does not take uh, any arguments nor returns a value, we'll have to calculate the area of the rectangle within the function itself. So we have done that. So let's go ahead and run the program. So let me give the length as 10 and width as 9. Okay. I forgot to call the function. Let's call the function. So 
so the length is 10 and the width is 9 you can see that the area of the rectangle is being calculated so next let's calculate the perimeter of the rectangle using the next type of function which is functions that have no arguments but they return a value so since this function returns a value the return type would be float I'm calling this function as perimeter rectangle and like before this uh, function does not take any arguments so I'm including the keyword void within the formal parameter list so I'm just going to include the calculation here uh, followed by uh, the calculation of follows the return statement So let's write a calling statement. We'll have to call the function from here. Let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm going to give the length as 6 and the width as 8. You can see that the area of the rectangle along with the uh, perimeter is being calculated here. As you can see, the type of function arguments and return value that is used to solve the problem solely depends upon the type of problem that you're dealing with. So there is no partic there is no rule that one problem should be solved only using one particular type. With this, we come to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we'll be looking at call by value method and call by reference method in C programming. So stay tuned. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.